Hello everyone and welcome all to this channel my research support and friends in today's video we'll explore several hidden features of Jenny AI that you might not know about and if you are using Jenny AI by any ways in your research writing then this will help you a lot so without any further ado let's start and discuss all these features one by one now the first feature is editing metadata so friends whenever we'll upload number of research articles to any database so most of the times this metadata will be fetched correctly that does mean journal name author names publication date etc but in case of few rare occurrences like old and protected PDFs, this metadata cannot be fetched correctly. So in order to ensure the correct and proper citation, you need to first re-edit this metadata and you can do that seamlessly by using Genie And for that, you have to first add that specific research article to your library through this option. So once you do that, then you have to click on that specific research article and then you have to click on this edit option and then very easily you can edit this metadata content type, title, access date, publication details, etc. You can also have options to add DOI or URL and then after you edit this metadata, you can click on save. Now the second feature is about citations. So Jenny AI has recently upgraded and added 1700 plus more new citation styles and you can apply or replace easily any of these styles in a single click. Now let us say you have added all the required research articles to your library. Then you can just click on documents. You can open the specific document you are working on let us say this is the document and then you have to click on the setting icon where under the citation style you can find 1700 plus new citation styles you can select the required citation style you can see this according to this Harvard style this index citation is added at the same time the related list of references is generated here so similarly within a single click you can change the citation style let us say this is the citation style I want so simultaneously the entire list of references along with index citation is updated. Now let's talk about the third feature which is creating your own collection. So let us say if you're working on multiple research projects and for every research project you have some set of research articles or references that you need to use then you can do that very easily by using Jenny AI. And for that under your library you have to click on collections and then you have to click on this icon to create new collection. You can rename this let us say research paper for you. Then you can click on this and then you can add any related research PDFs by clicking on add sources. You have to select that specific source and then open. So in this way you can add multiple research PDFs under your personalized collection and then you can have option to refer to this specific collection while providing citations and interacting with PDFs. So after collection the next feature is auto cite and citation recency. To access these features you have to first click on this setting icon and here you can locate these features you can see auto cite from library auto cite from external sources you can also select specific sources as we already discussed you have created your personalized collection so you can select this research paper for you so that you can auto cite only the research pdfs uploaded under research paper for you and then this is citation recency filter so you can enable this and then under this feature, you can set specific publication year. Let us say I need to cite the research article those have published since 2023. And now the next feature is multi-source PDF chart. So interacting with PDF, this feature you might have observed on different platforms, but you will get a lot of flexibility here under this Jenny AI. Now let us say you need to interact with this specific research article, then you need to click on open PDF. And then you have to click on this AI chart. So here along with this current PDF, we can mention several other PDF and you can simultaneously interact with this PDF. Let us say I'll be selecting this PDF as well. I'll be selecting one more PDF and then you may use different questions or prompts like what are the key research outcomes of these research papers and you can see this. These are the research outcomes of the whatever research articles I have selected. So along with interacting with multiple PDFs, you have several other options. You can click on this and you may select other sources like if you want to interact with web research PDFs you have uploaded in the library, your personalized collection, sources, etc. So along with all these features, let's quickly go through remaining few key features. So here you can also find this AI chat feature means while writing your document, if you want to use or interact with different sources, multi PDFs, then also you can do that from here. And additionally, within your writing, if you want to insert specific image, table or code block, then also you can do that and then once you finish writing and editing this document you can click on publish and you can publish your document to create read-only version of your document to share to reviewers or co-authors 
Now let us talk about smart citation. So let us say you have DOI number of the research document that you need to cite. So instead of adding that DOI number under this library also you can directly cite. You can directly paste that DOI number let us say here and then you will be getting these three options so you have to click on paste as citation. So you can see this Jenny AI has automatically identified and cited the source. And now let us talk about the last feature which is to fetch PDF. I mean within this Jenny AI's interface itself directly you can fetch open access versions of these sources or your PDFs. For that you have to click on fetch PDF. So you can see this your PDF is fetched. So you can open this PDF and then you can start interacting with it. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this information will help you. If you have any doubts, you can write us through comments. We'll definitely try to answer all these comments. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.